Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna introduce to you guys another very useful video editing tool that's called M-Tutorial and you can use them on your everyday videos, even those unboxing videos like mine, like this video with Apple Watch or this video of iPhone or you know, just to highlight certain important parts. You know, there are very useful tools that you can use on your unboxing videos and tutorials and you know, uh, everyday videos for example one of my top hits you know how to create transitions without the error showing that there's not enough media and with this tool the instruction is going to be more precise and clear to all of my viewers and I know it's a little pricey it's about hundred over dollars however it's come with a pack and you can use them for two devices and there are a lot of nice and clean titles for your social media platforms you know fashion design channels and you know even product sales and as you can see that it can be used with you know Final Cut Pro version, DaVinci Resolve version, Premiere Pro version and even on iPad as well and um, how to install it is very simple just use the M installer and it's automatically applied and of course itself includes you know tutorials and help and supports panel and you can seek help from this uh, M installer app itself and of course you can check out the new plugins and templates available or new downloads and easily accessible over this platform it's so useful as always after installation just restart your Final Cut Pro go to the titles and generators sidebar find M tutorial and after that you can find the 100 over titles already installed and available for your use. I almost forget about the transitions since the number of transitions is less than the number of titles. Uh, let's start with the transitions. So the transitions is in the transition sidebar and you can find M tutorial and you can see that there are seven items and I think although there are not a lot of transitions but they're short and sweet transitions. This one is particularly one of my favorites so I'm just gonna show you by dragging it to the clips like this. And if you are unsure how to apply, you can always check out my video on how to create those uh, transitions without errors. And as you can see that this transition is very short and very smooth, very neat with a, you know with a background of white color. Of course, you can change the background to say orange or say black. There's also an option for the drop shadow. So if you want to make it more you know 3d you can turn it on if not you can just turn it off i think it's kind of neat and of course you can choose the uh, shadow color and you can have a little tint uh, in your videos and maybe show you another one say this one uh, this is a very neat one as well sliding effects and i show you one more this one this one is going from you know it's those kind of a sliding scrolling kind of a uh, effect and I think this suits uh, Final Cut Pro very well because the background is you know gray in color exactly as the same as the Final Cut Pro's original color personally I still prefer this one because I think this one is really clean and neat and you know Apple-ish so yep let's uh, go back to the titles and generators introduction and i'm gonna show you more titles one by one all these titles are very customizable and easily applicable to your videos so without further ado and for the sake of you know saving your time i'm just gonna use a few of them and i think are the most useful ones at least for me for example, this is one of them and I wish I knew this title before making this unboxing video and I'm showing you this because you know if you're doing unboxing video yourself I think this is very handy. So how is this useful because this is you know kind of a highlighting the important section of your video with a little caption above. Let's you know delete this uh, title. So the title I used is called selection line. You can simply double click or drag it to your timeline and since I double click and I you know I'm gonna show you over here it's on top of my original video clip with nothing else. And as you can see, the uh, selection is in blue color. First of all, I'm going to change the color of this you know, highlighting line. Let's go to the inspector and go to 
the color section which is the line color you can always change it to say white and make it obvious and you can change the width to make it thicker and you can obviously change it to be closed or unclosed and you know obviously if you're uh, making it more customizable you can make it look like a fish like this you know the caption is above and you can change the content by clicking the text box or you go to the title sidebar as well and just change say sticky something like that and you can change the description bar color as well so you can change to scion yellow or say white and definitely if you choose white you have to change the color of the words as well so the description color you have to change to say red or blue or black and of course you think if the description is a little bit too high you can change it to a little bit below like this and voila this is the one that I need for my video unboxing video actually and let's move on to the next one see there's a little bit of a trick I've done so there are two different kind of mouse in this titles and you can use them accordingly and I think mouse one is the more suitable one in this video so to apply I can just drag it above this one and let me unuse the clip below by using V so as you can see that the mouse is like this and with a built-in and build-out effect and you can always turn it off I don't really like this and you can change the position uh, and like this drag it to a suitable position and you can see that there's an animated action on and off so you can see that there's a animated click and you know you can change to left or right click and since that this one is a left one so I used the left click so the scroll looks like this to scroll it down and definitely there are inside lines option and that's for those uh, conventional mouse if you're using with the not apple one not the mac one and obviously there are options of you know drop shadow and i think you know pretty much you get a gist of it just now i'm saying that press v or press b there's also this uh you know short shortcut uh, kind of uh titles and you can obviously change say um the content how many buttons say just one one button and you can change this button text to say B press B or press V and there's a there's a slight tutorial uh, very useful kind of a tool that I can use and show you guys press V press B and that's all I needed to show you and pretty simple I don't think I should spend too much time you guys are smart people if you have any questions just pop a comment in the comment section if not you can write me an email that's pretty much all I wanted to show today and hope you guys can enjoy this small recommendation and you know give it a quick try and uh, especially if you're already making money on your contents I think this is kind of a tool that you should have to upscale and to up your video or notch and to differentiate with your competitors and yep that's all I wanted to show today and thank you guys for you know, paying attention see you next time bye bye